Hello, welcome back, Tracy here. So today I um, want to carry on building up my stash for my ephemera. Um, I, these are the ones that I did yesterday. So I thought I'd quickly show you, because um, I did some offline. Tracy Fox um, mini bird tags. And yeah, so I, I did quite a few, I think nine all up. So they will be used as belly bands in journals um, or side tucks. So there's a lot of the bird ones that I did. Um, you get a heap of bird images. Um, that's from one of her other kits. This here is from her postal kit. So yeah, I'm going to start making ephemera for that. Um, I want to... I want to, um, yeah, just start a collection up, so when I go to make a journal with it, which I plan on making, I've already got ready-made ephemera there, and then these two I made, no, it was this one, and there was another one of them from the April Challenge, which one was it? Is it still sitting underneath, getting flattened maybe? Yeah. Uh, these two were from the April challenge, which I'll um, put online shortly. So yeah, I was pretty stoked. So I've got a whole, I think there was 10 all up, um, including the violet one. So we'll put that to the side. So carrying on with that theme, I want to carry on using these. When I first seen this kit, this is what I had in mind. So a double, um, well it's not a double. It's a little hidden paper clip and it, it holds a little card in there. So yeah, you can put it, I thought I'd do some sideways and some, um, you know, sideways and some at the top. But I think for this video, um, I just want to do a whole heap going over the top. So I've done one just to have a play because I actually haven't done them before. So I will, I've already pre-scored some, but I'll do this one online um, just so you get an idea of the sizes. So I have done them. So I like mine kind of big. I guess you can do them any size. It's up to you. But I've done mine eight inches across and four inches down. And I'm going to score it at two and a quarter and five and a half. You don't have to score it at that. That's just my preference um, when I did my first one. So, and then fold them in. So you can do it either way. Um, I played around with the ones that I've got on which way I wanted them. So this one here more than likely will have, I'm going to put her on there. So I'll put that to the side and let's get started. So one thing um, you should do before doing anything, if you're an inker, Go along and ink around your edges. So it's been a fantastic weekend. Blue sky, heaps of washing done. Um, I'm going to more than likely do this. And then I'm going to find myself a nice fussy cut kit. That's an all-rounder and sit in front of the TV and we're going to have tea and watch a movie probably. So look forward to that. Right. Long end on the outside. And then all I did was I want that poking up. You don't have to have it poking up. But the plan is that I'm going to do some dangles. I believe this was a quarry... Corey first done it and then I've watched Gail do it um, so yeah I th and I think my version's just slightly bigger than Gail's you can do it any size that you want like I said before 
So, and what I'm going to do to keep that reasonably straight is just put a little bit of washi, washi down there first. Oh, you don't want it showing. So, it just sort of holds it in place until I glue. Um, yeah. So I want to glue this down. I'm just going to go all around there. Go around the top. And then get rid of that excess. And that's straight, so I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to just glue along there, along the two ends, like that. Cool. So there you have the first base ready. I've picked this, um, this is from Kels, Kelsbeck, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so I like this paper. This is just scrap, I've used scrapbook paper um, and all different type of, I'd say it's all different type of um, weights. This is quite a heavy weight. Um, I found these in my stash, which I obviously bought ages ago, um, and they are fabric swatch labels from Tracy Fox. So I just want something to go up there, and I think it would be nice to having a little bit of colour. Or do I want sort of like a green... Right, let's have, I think that's what I want. Actually, I'll leave those out because I'll probably use them. I've got my box of goodies that I can use and I've got my I actually want some patterned paper behind there nothing too nothing too fancy I don't want roses Let's find some scraps something like that. Yep, I think so. Just tear that down a bit, make it a bit more even. Actually, I'm not even going to use the baller. Across there, pick her up. down so you're all having a good weekend it's um yeah like I said it's been a fantastic weekend here which is really great wish you I don't want that I don't want anything in color well I say that and then I grab Rachel's labels but I don't know whether I want anything from there either. Maybe just a bit of a bit of lace. Just chop a bit. Get rid of that hard bit. Maybe just a bit of lace underneath there. Will do. Yep, I still feel like it needs something. 
probably a butterfly or something, I don't know. Do something like that, I think. And I don't care if it sort of falls over because it's going to go over the page. We're going to use it as an uptuck, so I'll make the dangles um, offline, I think. I'm not going to sit here and do those. So yeah, I've been having a great time doing this. Just fantastic. I'm really enjoying myself. I think occasionally you need to sort of stop making journals and just have a little play. I feel like it needs something up there. I'm not 100% sure at this stage. Um, I haven't really got anything close at hand to put on there. Stick a stamp. Probably not with China on it though, I would say. Maybe I will get my stamps out later and put something on there. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because I want to get a few done online, so happy with that. Um, next I grabbed this gorgeous girl. This is from Kelsbeck too. I think it's called Kelsbeck. Not a hundred percent sure how, how to pronounce it. Um, I will link below though. Um, absolutely gorgeous bunch of girls. So let's just grunge her up a bit. She's not going to need much. Probably just a little bit of lace. Yeah, she's gorgeous. I love her. Um, let's just really want to get down this edge before I stick it down. Paper clip, long side to the back, like that. Stick it up a little bit. Great. Do we need tape? Yes, we do. So this will be the same deal as the last video, I would say. Um, I'll do a few online, try and get two, three done online, and then I will do the rest offline. Probably do about nine for my stash. Nine or ten seems a good number. I'm not going to make little um, tags to go in there. What I'll do is um, probably do that, like finish it off, put it in the to finish off box. Do we want a little bit of colour? I feel like she needs a little bit of blue, small label maybe. That's green. Or does she need anything? Maybe she just needs... A little bit of lace. 
What else have we got in here? I need something red. Oh, I like the yak. I do like that. That's pretty. I wonder if we just cover that whole thing. Yeah. Very rustic-y looking. her on and I don't think that she needs anything else she's so large fits perfectly and I've had these printed out for quite some time and never used them I've had them printed out and cut out so I like her just how she is um, I don't think she needs anything else at all. Or oh, maybe a little bit of bling. I wonder what colour. If I've got any blue. Let's have a look. Pink. I think that's just slight hint of pink. So we could actually do. No, I'm going to leave it alone because. Uh, or am I? Oh, here we go. This is what happens when I start thinking. I do like that. Let's just. Get three of those for the top and three for the bottom. I might even, won't be doing this, definitely won't be doing this on camera. I'm planning on getting a new sewing machine, which is why I haven't sewn a lot of things lately. Um, but I might even sew around these. Straighten her up, and I'm thinking maybe one, two, three. Yeah, right, that makes me a bit more happier. A little bit of bling. I'm gonna put that underneath just to dry. How are we going for time? Great, let's get to do another one. Let's do uh. Let's do, okay, let's do this. So I grabbed this out. This is just some rub-ons I found um, oh, a, when I shifted rooms, when I shifted my craft room into this one, I found it. Um, and they weren't doing any good just sitting in, in the drawer, so I had some fabric. Um, so, yeah. I rubbed them all on there because I knew I'd be more than likely to use it. Now, before I do that, yep, we'll do it that way. So we will do the long end, behind, and about the middle. Oh, I don't want to catch that. Am I making this look really unco? Because I feel like I'm just not quite making it look easy, which it is. But definitely, if you're going to do this, um, if you haven't seen it before, watch Gail. Um, watch Gail, um, or, you know, if my instructions aren't clear enough. But definitely do it in an assembly type thing because it makes life a lot easier, I think. This will be the last one I'll do online.
and I might make the other ones up just how I am now and decorate them all at the same time. Um, I should have had a few, to be fair, before I started this already made up. Right, now, I want something to go behind that. Just digging into my scrap container. Um, trying to find, trying to find something. What's this? Don't mind that. Don't mind that. Is that. Because it's the right. Well, because I can um, rip it down. Where's that one? I think I like that with this. Or I could go greeny. No, I think, I think I'm going to be happy with that. I don't want to muck around too much. No, I don't want roses, I just want a pattern. I got this paper from it's actually quite thick. Not torn. Oh, I just had a thought. I think I like that better, only because I've seen it sitting to the side and i seen the stamp which is sort of matchy matchy with the, um, matchy matchy with the uh, flower. And just tear a little bit off the end and I don't think I'll do it at the top. Yes, so super fun. I'll carry on doing a few more tonight. And that will be it until, yeah, next weekend. I'll decide what I'm going to do then. I might have weekends just for playing around and making ephemera. definitely needs like a label somewhere don't really want to cover up that stamp but if I do I do label don't want that and maybe Oh, I quite like that. Let's just go straight down there. Chew out my glue stick. And I don't care. I want that to hang over. The glue on the other side will dry. And then I was going to put a bit of lace behind it, but I don't think it actually needs it now. Yeah, that's pretty. 
had this sitting on my desk from the belly bands I did. Cool. And then I'll just put that on. Just a light sprinkling of uh, glitter glue. I don't want, I'm not sure how this is going to show through if it is. No, great. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Right, how are we doing for time? Oh, yeah, we just hit 25 minutes. So let's grab this one from under here. So we've done, managed to do one, two, three online, and that was my first one I trialed out before I started pushing run. So, yeah, super, super easy, super cute. Um, and then I will go ahead and make little things to go in there when I go to put them in whatever journal. So, yeah, with a little bird, a little flower, daisy. So I tried to do a different variety of things instead of the same um, thing. And this piece of fabric with some rub-on, rub-on flower, and then this gorgeous girl so i hope you've enjoyed watching that um thank you for joining me and until next time see you later